hey guys, I'm the end. I'm not even going to say stupendous because he is Neil Bell. Straight over to Neil, he's going to do three pieces for us from his new book, Clog. Take it away, mate. Okay, well, I've got my glasses on now, so you know we mean business. Okay, so this is a bit of a sonic thing, uh, and it's called Helicopter. <laughs> Grab individuals with weapons, light them all up. Come on, fire. Keep shooting, keep shooting. God damn it, Kyle. All right. <laughs> I hit him. I hit him. Hotel 26, Crazy Horse 1, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at those dead bastards. He's getting up. Maybe he has a weapon in his hand. Uh, no, I haven't seen one yet. Oh, come on, buddy. All you got to do is pick up a weapon. Roger, I have 11 Iraqi KJAs, one small child over. Roger. God damn. Oh, well. Well, it's their fault for bringing their kids into battle. That's right. Really good stuff like that, mate. It was like listening to a radio drama when you did all the sound effects and everything That's on that idea. one. <laughs> Normally, I'm on a microphone. Tremendous. I've never done it like this before. <laughs> I'll be not have you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I can well imagine like, it's like setting yourself all these special effects and hit a button. Oh, and then you blow yourself up at the end of it then. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it works. Nice. Obviously, on a mic, you can come, you can come close in on the mic. So I hope that sounded okay. Yeah, it sounded brilliant, mate. I love that, mate. So my sort of warp sense of being that one straight away. So <laughs> right, really? mate. I'm going to shut up now, please. See, it's all about you, mate. So give us piece number two, buddy. Okay. So this is called Christine. The wind whips the trash around the base of the tall floodlights that shine halogen high above the roundabout. Stray cars turn. On foot, I lope heavy onto the curb, the mouth of the subway, suddenly a girl. Do you want business for 20 quid? I look at her beauty, early 20s, dehydrated, a cadaver, black hair tinged with streetlight dances around her face. Frantic, fuck me over there for 20 quid. She points to a leaf-strewn recess at the end of a wall, hiding from the floodlight. I think about it. How much have you got? Nothing, love. I slap the wallet pocket on my thigh, dull thud the abused soft leather. I get it out and open it in front of her. The cold wind tickles the receipts and scribbled notes inside. Nothing. She wants to grab it from me, but the wind knocks the spirit from her heart. An impatient, nicotine, brown glass voice rips up through the trumpet of the graffiti bulb piss yellow subway. Christine! Her neck scruff is clamped in the jaws of a sheer ghost black oil snake slid out of the ground and fed on the night. She looks at me like I'm an idiot. I turn and foot my way along the curve of the railings, orange blue under the tall, tall light. Come and have a glass of wine, Christine. Don't sell yourself for £20, Christine. Do you rattle? Do it, Christine. It's hard, but you'll be free of that. Free of him. But by now, I'm inside. Out of the road. Thank you. 
Wow. Now that's a completely different change of tone, that one. Um, <laughs> I have to ask you, how close to the truth was that piece? Because that it I, I, I'm wondering. Where I'm, I'm, I can see the spot where it happened from this window. They filled in the subway now here. They brought it all onto ground level. But there used to be a subway that went underneath and it, it went underneath where this window looks out. So it happened just across across the roundabout there. And I wrote it down when I came in. Uh, more or less, word for word. Obviously, I edited, we've edited it a little bit to make it work in the book, but that's it. Um, and I never saw her again, you know. But at the time, there was a community of people living in the, in the subway at night um, and sleep and staying there. And obviously, there was all sorts of, you know, some of people had mental health issues and some of them were addicts. Some people were going there to score or some people were going there to sell. And there was a lot of stuff going on, you know. Yeah. She was young and, um, like I say, pretty, but emaciated, you know. And I'd, I'd, you know, I couldn't, all these nice words, come and have a glass of wine, da, 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 I only thought to say them when I, when I was back in the house. Wow. In, in the actual wind and in, 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 on the front line of it happening, I was just sloped off, you know. It's incredible. It really, like, I felt every word of that piece. And when the first one, you could argue, felt like a really good radio, like a radio play, that felt like it's something a real smack in the face, basically. Well, the stuff. first one, Helicopter, is a transcript of word for word of a... Um, a conversation between the ground tr ground crew and the air crew during the Iraq conflict. Mm. These these helicopter pilots who were about 18, 19 years old and from America were um if they if they thought in their own by their own judgment that somebody had a weapon in the hand they could kill them. And they were hovering. The people on the ground couldn't hear the helicopter. They were very high up. And they were monitoring the ground with these with these these sight vision things. And um, so, if someone picked up a stick or a, a a shovel, in this case, it was a camera. The people in the van were journalists. Mm. Uh, they were just wow. blasted from above, you know. And that was that was it. There's footage of it. There's footage. They, they released the transcripts into the um, into the uh, the Independent. There was a bit of a hoo ha about it at the time. And it's literally the transcripts is the poem. That's it. Oh, incredible, mate. Looks incredible, mate, in both cases. Right. Now you've really give us made me even more keen to read your book. Give us the give us the what's the word here? The big finale then for tonight then. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get sent out of me, mate, right? <laughs> the big finale. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was gonna do a different one, but okay, I'll do the uh I'll do the big the, the bloody finale. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this one's called When a, When a Freight Train. When a freight train, hissing and clanking and pissing, steaming and kissing and scraping, is rumbling over vast bricked-up archways, empty shops, takeaways, vacant lots, breathing, between the casinos, shouting over slick, wet track, grumbling, a freight train shaking the viaduct, quaking the embankment, over the concrete, over the steel, sliding, a freight train stumbling on, crumbling, shuddering, screaming, shunting, Heaving in cargo, truck after truck, after carriage, after car, after couple, after rust, after work, after scrape, after wheel, after plate, after grind, after crack, after dust, after oil, after box, after metal, after rivet, after plank, after paint, after scratch, after spark, after rust, after truck, after carriage, after couple, after car, after work, after scrape. After wheel, after trunk, after plate, after grind, after crack, after dust, after iron, after oil, after box, after metal, after plank, after paint, after scratch, after spark, fizzing with chains, bettering this city. A freight train 
All right. A freight train. I know. A freight train. Thank you. Wow. You know, so I didn't bother muting mute myself. I was just a real high state. But that one all knocked the camera off. <laughs> you you gross me that much, there, mate. People will see it with me looking at that thing in. My God. Yeah, is that... When you do spoken word gigs, I've got to ask you, Neil, is that a piece you normally tend to finish your sets off with? Yeah, it is now. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. It has to be straight away. People see you that live because I'm just listening to you then with delivery then. My voice would have gone after that piece. I know what it's like, so I thought... You know, that's another, yeah, 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 that's another <laughs> thing, yeah. Yeah, oh. because you, it's good to let rip. It, 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 it's a little bit like a TV evangelist, um, I see it. Um, and he's, he's just... He, he's. Well, you know, he's um, what is the word? He's eulogizing about this freight train as if he's talking about the Lord. You know, he's talking about yeah. the coming of the Lord. And yeah, I don't I know why. I, get, I love. I'm not far from the um, the track that the freight the freight train takes. It goes over um, the bottom of the road here. Um, I think it's called Medlock Street, um, and it goes from it goes into Oxford Street and then into Piccadilly, and then off foot. Uh, I don't know where it goes, Liverpool maybe. Um, uh, no, that's the other way, isn't it? But it comes from like Warrington, kind of. It comes from Liverpool, mm. I think, Warrington. So you can see it from miles away coming. They go twice a day and they're very long and they're just relentless, passing and passing and passing. And there's all this clunking and screaming of the metal. You know, yep. it's, it's, it's <laughs> quite, if you're in the station when they go through, it's quite something to behold, you know. Yeah, no, I agree completely, mate, because I got I, my parents live up around Humphrey Parkway and I have to get the train out for sure I go and see them sometimes. And it's you're right, it's a set of feeling that you don't see anywhere else when you're on those sort of trains sometimes, that station. So good yeah. And everyone just ignores it. <laughs> Apart from me and you, mate, that's all I'm gonna say there. So right, mate. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna call it quick start and talk some more anyway off camera anyway. So Neil, it's been a pleasure, mate. Thank you. It's really, it's been a, I've enjoyed it myself. I can't believe yeah. it's gone so quick. Thank you very yeah. much. Indeed. We've been on here for over an hour tonight and it's been a pleasure. Absolutely. It's not been plenty of waffle, but it's been great fun as well with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you again, mate. Anyway, yes, guys, thank kills. you very much. Cheers. As Don Callis over at AEW Wrestler says, stay safe and stay over. We will see you all next time.